but there's there's this this fear of vulnerability um, that that really keeps us away from each other, and, and yeah. we use things like you were saying, like guys get together and have. It's all about the beer and brats or the football game. Yeah. Like we literally insert these things between us because we're afraid to ask that question. Hey, man, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> we could be like with a with a bro for a weekend, come home, your wife's like, "How's you doing?" Like, how am I supposed to know? Yeah. Because you spent the entire weekend together. <laughs> yeah. that, you're, you got to ask yeah. the question. You do, and and we don't want to. And Chris, I mean, I've been traveling for a while now and going to existing groups trying to help them yeah. with a new format and all those things. And and what I hear so often is is men, we can be prideful. We're like we've been meeting in this group for the you know for you know sixteen years with the yeah. same thirty five guys, and they'll ask a question. I'll say, "Who's that?" Oh, well, that's Tim. Okay, well, tell me about Tim. Well, Tim works at FedEx. He's married and he has two daughters. Okay, that's tell all you me know? about Tim. Thirty five years. Yeah, tell yeah. me about Tim. What do you mean? What does he struggle with? What's he dealing with? What's his job like? What's his hobbies? What's his relationship like with his daughter, with his wife? Yeah. Where is he in his life? Like, because at that point, yeah. we're surface, we're staying on the surface. And sometimes we put, like, like I said, beer and broads in a football game. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, but, but sometimes we put things that are really good between us. Right. Like, here's a Bible study. Amen. But we'll never ask the question, how are you doing and how can I pray for you? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, I, I think a lot of the programs we use, and I create a lot of these programs, mm-hmm. so I'd, I'd never say, like, you never need them. Sure. Well, they can be really helpful. But if you're not asking, how are you doing and how can I pray for you, in addition to using the programs, which are kind of the excuse for you getting together and yeah, asking those questions, sure. you're missing the entire point of Christian community. Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody wants to see, and I don't care if this is the biggest, toughest alpha male yeah. on the planet. Yeah. Everybody wants to be seen, loved, and heard, period. Mm. Seen, loved, and heard. I want to know that I'm needed, that mm. I'm loved, and I'm wanted. You know Leah, uh, Leah Saldini, Le- Leah Darrow? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful story. She met her husband. He was, in, he was a Green Beret. yeah. And uh, and she just thought this guy's just a player. So and he was, he was trying to you know date her. And yeah. She, she just cornered him. She's like, "What do you want?" And he said, "I want someone to truly know me." Yeah. She's like, "Okay, marry me." Yeah. That's right. <laughs> She's like, like, "Do you have the ring right now?" <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <"Yeah." laughs> but most no. people, most, you feel that, and we don't even give voice to it. Right. And, but we're so afraid because we haven't been vulnerable that we say, "Okay, I feel like I need to do something for men or for myself spiritually." And that's a good thing. Yeah, you, then, and you feel like you'll be the only guy who wants to do it, and all, all guys are like, I want to be known. I right. want to be a real community. That's like, right. Just, but instead, because of our fear, we go, all right, I'm going to grab this you know, 58-minute, 56-second video, and I'm yeah. going to hit play, and then at the end we'll pray real quick and leave and feel like we've done something. And those are good things. Anytime you call anybody into a greater knowledge of our faith or anything, it's a good thing. Yeah. But what's missing is that like sitting down and, and just that person-to-person relationship. Yeah. You know, so many people today, we confuse, we don't know what authentic friendship is. We think, well, I work next to this guy in a cubicle, so we're, we're, we're friends. Yeah. And yeah, you're, you're friends of convenience, right? Most of the time, if that guy gets promoted, if he right. gets moved even up a floor level, yeah. you're probably not going to hang out that much anymore. It's because it was convenient. Most of us don't have somebody in our life that if we blow a tire at 2 in the morning, we can call and they'll show up with a jack and help you fix it, yeah. right? We don't have people that, that will say to you like, John, I know you're having trouble in your life. Sit down and tell me about it because I care about you and I want to hear it.